Good morning, folks. Hein Schaefer here, Senior Vice President of Product and Strategy for the Volkswagen brand. And I'm coming to you today live uh, from our building here in Herndon. You can see the Audi badge, top right hand corner. Uh, that is the Volkswagen and Audi head office here in Herndon. Um, and the reason I'm talking to you today is really to talk to you about our all new Volkswagen Atlas. Um, this is the new Atlas, which starts at just over $31,500. The beautiful one behind me here, you can see is finished in a new color racing green. And I'm gonna spend a couple minutes to really talk you through some of the highlights of the car and also some of the cool changes that we've effected to this vehicle. Okay, so let's start a little bit on the exterior of the car. Now you will notice that probably most of the sheet metal of this car is carryover from existing Atlas but the entire front end of the car has received a complete makeover. Uh, and you will recognize that some of these bits and pieces um, are also evident and found on our cross board. But if we take a look at the front end, you can see a lot more dynamic looking, a lot more robust, more bold than the outgoing version. And you'll see uh, probably the highlight on the front end are these new beautiful LED projector headlights. Um, now this is the SEL premium version. So these headlights are also equipped with AFS, which does give you auto leveling um, and dynamic cornering. You'll see a completely new and revised grill, new lower bumper. You'll see also it does carry our new Volkswagen logo. The car does come in three new unique colors for Atlas. It comes in pyrite silver, Aurora red, and then this beautiful color that you see over here, which we call racing green. So a really, really nice color. Really, really, really beautiful. So let's move on to the side of the car and maybe just talk about dimensions. The Atlas grows a fraction in terms of total length. Uh, just over 200 inches. This is not really due to any sort of changes in the wheelbase, but rather due to some extensions on the front end. Now the Atlas is equipped standard with 18 inch alloy wheels. And that goes all the way up to 21 inch wheels, which could be found on the R-Line package. This version you see here, as I mentioned, is an SEL premium. And you can see that has got some beautiful machined 20 inch wheels. And again, as I mentioned on the front end, you'll see that new Volkswagen logo also carrying through the wheel caps. If we go around to the rear of the vehicle, here you'll see some of the changes. Um, for sure, the new standard LED tail lamps are extremely bold and look really, really good. These LED lights pop in darker conditions, but a really, really beautiful tail lamp. And you're also gonna notice once again, that new Volkswagen logo proudly sitting in the center of the trunk. So I'm just gonna pan out a fraction, just give you an idea. And really how nice all the bold chrome accents around the window surrounds the roof rails and those beautiful 20 inch machine wheels look and so from an exterior perspective a really really beautiful car so i think now's a good time to really go and uh, focus our attention on some of the interior so let's go jump inside so as you can see i think one of the key talking points on this particular vehicle is our all new mqb steering wheel you'll notice that it's a really solid uh, steering wheel beautifully leather wrapped it again displays that new volkswagen logo very proudly um, and you'll see that basically all the key features that you need inside the vehicle are really at your fingertips. If we focus our attention a little bit to the seating and the leather, you'll notice that the new Atlas definitely has a slightly more upscale feel. You'll see a lot of contrast stitching on the center armrest, on the seats, but all around the cockpit. And then last but not least, if you focus your eyes and attention also to the door trim panel, you'll see some of that stitching extends into the door trim panel insert. We've also changed out all the decors. We refreshed all the uh, dashboard decors and also door insert decors. And last but not least, obviously this is the SCL Premium. It is equipped with a 12 speaker fender system. Okay, let's talk a little bit about this new steering wheel. So already, as I mentioned, leather wrapped, feels really good in the hand. You'll see some really intuitive buttons all over the place. You'll notice in the background, um, our well-known Volkswagen FPK digital active info display. Um, I'm going to toggle a little bit here with the view button between some of those menus just to give you an idea how this could be customized. Um, so just a quick overview, you can pick dials, you can pick for more digital outlook, a uh, whole host of features. And then really to the left hand side of the steering wheel, most of your driver assist features. And I'm going to talk briefly about a couple of those. Um, I can tell you that the cruise control lane assist um, have been enhanced. Um, our lane assist feature now effectively not only keeps you between the lines but keeps you centered in your lane. The ACC cameras have also been updated and improved which then also gives rise to a very cool traffic jam assist feature. Now our new traffic jam assist feature utilizes the cameras in the car and utilizes the ACC to at below speeds of 37 
keep you centered in your lane and keep your safe traveling distance to the car in front of you. And obviously with the ACC stop and go system, when you get to a traffic light and a complete stop, the vehicle will eventually sense when the car in front of you is pulling away and it will then obviously re-engage. So let's move our attention away from the steering wheel and the FPK cluster and move a little bit across to our, our center console. Here you can see our beautiful infotainment display. Um, if we focus our attention a little bit further down, electronic park brake standard on the Atlas. This one is the push button remote start. Um, you'll also see the drive selector mode. And obviously as we toggle between these various drive selector modes, you'll also see that come up on the infotainment display. Um, you'll also notice a park assist button. Um, and then a very handy button, a button I use almost every day of my life, is our aerial view camera. So this gives you a really nice look at, an, at the aerial view of the vehicle. This is something which is extremely handy as you're trying to back into or back out of um, very tight parking spaces. So you'll also see in the center console over here, um, some USB ports, um, as I mentioned, two in the rear, two in the front. And then you'll also notice that this mat has got a little bit of a badge on it. And this is a very cool feature that we've incorporated into the new Atlas. Um, this is wireless um, charging. I brought a second phone which I'm basically going to put onto this pad over here and you'll also notice as soon as that lands on the pad the phone starts to charge and ultimately you'll see a note that will come up on the infotainment display that says charging the cell phone in the storage compartment. So last but not least um, a quick overview of, of really what the CarPlay system looks like. Um, this is now 100% standard on the Atlas from even the entry trim. Uh, really simple to use, really really intuitive. Siri, give me directions to the nearest Costco. The closest one I found is Costco Wholesale on Chantilly Crossing Lane in Chantilly. Let me know if you want to hear the whole list. So there you can see just how fast and intuitive our new CarPlay works. Okay, folks, I now find myself in the second row um, and look out for a later video where I, in fact, climb into the third row. Now, as I mentioned, I'm roughly six foot three in terms of height. I have not adjusted the seat in front of me. Um, that is basically my driver's position. Um, and if I focus your attention there, you'll see if I can get the right camera angle going, that I still have a fair amount of generous legroom behind the front passenger seat. So this is, I think, something that we're extremely proud about in the new Atlas, um, is that we do have benchmark usable space. One more thing to really call out is a really large panoramic sunroof. This extends from the front end of the vehicle all the way back to the rear. It has a shade for those hot, hot markets that need to have a shade and the sunroof does open. So a really usable, really beautiful sunroof. So as we move into the rear, uh, you'll see that the stitched leather surfaces also continued. Um, this obviously is an SEL premium. Um, so one of the things we really pride ourselves in is um, is a whole bunch of USB ports. Uh, this also has Climatronic settings for the rear. And if I focus your attention over there, you'll also see that this car is equipped with heated rear seats. Now, one of the things I think we're very proud of um, on the Atlas is our third row. We do know that this car scores very well from a functionality um, and usability perspective. So I'm just gonna flick this forward, push that a little bit forward. Really, really simple. I'm gonna jump into the back of the vehicle here real quick. So there it is, believe it or not, Roughly six foot three in terms of height. I've got a little bit of headroom here. I'm sitting in the third row of the Atlas. Um, and I'll also have you know that I haven't adjusted the second or the first row. So this is really just a, an absolute demonstration of how spacious this vehicle is. Um, I think roughly 33 cubic inches. So a whole bunch of space. And one of the main reasons why folk buy Atlas. So really just continuing the theme of space um, and size and comfort. I really want to briefly um, just take you through some of the some of the cool features in the rear and really just how big and large and comfortable this car is. You can see uh, even though you're utilizing your third row, still a very, very usable trunk. And I'm just gonna show you with a flick of the hand how really easy it is to drop these seats. So very usable, very functional, very easy to drop. And then I'm gonna pan back and really just give you a, a, an idea of how massive this trunk is. So 55.5 cubic feet, a really, really enormous trunk that can pretty much hold any gear, any equipment, um, luggage for five, six, seven people. Uh, a really spacious, really large trunk. So there you have it, ladies and gents. Thank you very much for your time and really uh, with your patience with my very limited cameraman ability. There you can see the all new Atlas starting at just over $31,500. I think to sum up some of the changes, a really bold, aggressive new front end beautiful wheel trim designs, more standard content. So really an awesome package 
and all of that at the starting price of a fraction over $31,500.